Hi, my name is Stephanie Robbins and I'm with Robbins Plumbing and today we're going to cover a hot topic for me and that is a hybrid water heater versus a solar water heater. So quickly going to cover the pros and cons of both as they stack up to each other. So this one was a burning thing for me because I went to the water heater manufacturer, wholesalers trying to get the answers that I sought and no one knew. So here we go. Uh, a hybrid water heater, if you're not aware, is a water heater style that is for electric that has a heat pump on the top. So how it heats water is by ambient air temperature. So it's converting hot air into hot water. Stacked up next to a solar system, which is pretty popular in the Phoenix area, obviously, because we have a lot of sun, it makes hot water by converting hot sun into hot water. So both are very green. They're both exceptional options if you're wanting to be energy efficient, but how do they stack up side by side? So one thing that is for sure, a hybrid water heater is a lot smaller than a solar water heater. So a hybrid water heater is just a little bit bigger as far as diameter and taller than maybe the 50 that you have now where a solar system can be twice that size in width because you have a much larger tank, often a second tank next to it. You have pumps in place, pipes going everywhere. So side by side, the hybrid is much more compact for the energy efficiency that it provides. Um, when you're stacking side by side, we always have air. So a hybrid is going to be able to convert air to hot water a lot more frequently in Arizona. Now I want to be specific. This isn't, you know, New York, Canada. This is Arizona where our ambient temperature rarely falls below 36 degrees. So stacking that up next to a solar system, it's only working when it's sunny. So at nighttime, it is on an element if you run out of hot water. Uh, when it's cloudy, it's running off of the elements versus on a hybrid. It is only running off of the backup elements if that ambient temperature is below 36 degrees or you have it set into a reheat fast mode, uh, which I don't. I have a hybrid and it's in hybrid only mode. Um, as far as other ways that it stacks up is the upfront cost. Both are an investment. They are both more than a standard electric water heater. The hybrid though, you can expect to pay about 75%, maybe less of what a solar setup is, not including you know, the roofer coming out, that kind of thing. So the investment upfront on a hybrid is much less than a solar investment. The other thing is which one is more energy efficient? And there is a lot. So as far as converting solar to what it costs you, it varies nationwide. So this was hard information to find, but I did find the averages on a government website, which we do have linked. And the average savings on a solar system is about $297 a month, which is awesome. That's pretty substantial. I don't mean to say a month, I mean to say a year. So $297 a year savings on electricity because heating water is actually pretty expensive. Uh, versus a hybrid, you can expect to save about $480 a year, and that's on average. So stacking the hybrid up to the solar, which one is more energy efficient and is going to get your gains back quicker is certainly the hybrid. Both offer the benefit to that other electric tanks can't, and that is that you can get them in an 80 gallon. And we're seeing a lot of people wanting to upgrade the gallon capacity of their water heaters or they already have an 80 gallon electric and it needs to be replaced. As far as staying with that 80 gallon, your only options are the solar and hybrid. So those numbers may not stack up the same in every state, but 23 years here in Phoenix doing plumbing, the hybrid is 
certainly a good option. Solar is a good option too. It's something that you have to weigh out the pros and cons, but space savings on the hybrid, it's more energy efficient and it costs less to install and it doesn't have a bunch of pumps that I have to repair. That Those are real pros for me stacking up against solar. So we have videos on hybrid in more detail. We also have a video on solar in more detail, really covering closed loop, open loop, the options available to you. So you make an informed decision because maybe solar is right for you. Uh, one of these two is gonna be a great option if what you're looking to do is to go green, save money on your electric bill and have a good product you know, long-term. So if you'd like a consultation on either the hybrid or the solar water heater, see which system's right for you, you can certainly reach out to our office. We're available at 623-486-4657. You can also make an appointment on our website, which is robinsplumbing.com.